Hello everyone, my plan is to upload a series of videos about women's well-being. The drink in this video is meant to cleanse. Cleanse your body of all the nyama nyama so we can start everything I want us to do to our bodies as women on a clean slate. I'm not a doctor or dietitian, so please, if you have any special health conditions such that you are on a special diet, Please, please oh, consult your doctor or dietitian before drinking this so they can scrutinize the ingredients and ensure they are okay for you to consume. Here are the ingredients you will need for this cleansing drink. They are mostly great antioxidants. Zobo or hibiscus or roselle helps boost your immune system. Its antioxidant properties help fight diseases. It's rich in iron, hence is good for most women before, during and after pregnancy. If you know any other benefits of this zobo flower or roselle flower, hibiscus flower, please list them in the comments for us. This one has been dried in the sun to preserve it. Pineapple acts as a sweetener in this drink. It makes an attempt, yes, only an attempt to sweeten this drink because I tell you, the taste of this drink is kakaraka. So use a very ripe one. Pineapple is great for your gut because it aids digestion. It boosts fertility too. Pineapple has been said to be a fruit created specially for women, as you will see in this video and future videos in this series. Add citrus fruits for the vitamin C benefits. Here I have orange and lemon. Another sweetener, dates. It is packed with disease fighting antioxidants and gives you energy as you cleanse the body. Cloves are high in antioxidants that help cleanse the body of free radicals that damage the body. So if you need only one cleanser in this drink, cloves it is. It also adds a nice taste to this drink. Yeah, I like the taste. Cayenne pepper is another antioxidant that helps you enjoy this drink because of its sour taste. It's a well-known fact that when you have Mr. Ginger in your corner, illnesses will be far from you. Clean the pineapple very well because we will be adding the skin too. It's important to clean the crevices with a brush because dirt usually hide in there. Wash all the other ingredients very well. Then soak the dry zobo or hibiscus or roselle in plenty of cool water. Leave it to soak for about 5 minutes. I'll be using only half of the pineapple, so I peel that part. And cut up the peels like so. The peels should go into the pot. I'm chopping up the fruit to help my blender. Deseed the dates. These ones are already deseeded, so I just cut them all up. And into the blender they go. I am removing the peels to avoid that itchy taste. The orange goes into the blender too. I am using just half of the lemon. Cut those into quarters and put in the pot. Grate the ginger about one thumb size and put in the pot. Blend the contents of the blender with as small quantity of water as possible. And pour that into the pot. The 
back to the zobo you know while drying these flowers the wind may blow dust on them making them sandy so soaking for a bit helps dislodge the sand on them you will see the sand settle at the bottom as you rinse the flowers Add to the pot. Next, grind the cloves with a spice grinder. These cloves destroy plastic covers of grinders because this ingredient is very tough. So if you have grinders with glass covers, it's more advisable to use that. I only have this plastic one. Later, you'll see what I'll do about it. Add the ground cloves to the pot. Click the like button. Have you liked this video yet? This is a gentle reminder. Add the remaining liter of water. So far, I've used one liter of water. Cover and start cooking. As I was saying, these cloves destroy the plastic cover of grinders. So what I do is to wash it immediately after use. This once very transparent cover now looks blurry. Mm, this ingredient is very strong. If you do not wash the grinder very well immediately after use, it will become increasingly worse the longer you delay washing it to such a point that you notice tough stains on it, even abrasions on the cover. Yeah. Cut a few slices of the cayenne pepper and once the pot boils, add the pepper. You can add some water at this time. In the end, I added a total of, I think, 1.5 liters of water. Yeah, you notice that the water dries up a bit as it cooks. Just keep checking the concentration and know what is best for you. Cook for 15 to 20 minutes and it's done. Set it aside to cool down completely. Then sieve. I first of all use a strainer followed by a chiffon cloth to sieve out the tiniest particles. Bottle that up and drink one glass a day for three to five days anytime you want to cleanse and reset your body. Remember, this drink is not for everybody. Consult your health practitioner before you drink. Click the video on the left for the feminine glow well-being drink. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.